Hello, today I'd like to show you how to make a small doily using worsted weight yarn. Let's get started. For this project, you will need a size H crochet hook, a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, and worsted weight yarn. Today I will be using cotton yarn. Let's get started. Begin our crochet project by creating a slip knot. We'll take the ends and create a bend. Holding the ends, make a clockwise turn. Taking the end of the yarn, which is coming from underneath, we will put it through the loop that we made by the clockwise turn and then we will hold the ends and pull that loop. That makes our knot tight. Next we will take our hook and insert it into our loop and pull it snug up to the hook. We begin by making a chain stitch. We're going to make a a chain of six chains. Yarn over and pull through and we'll do that five more times. Okay, the next step we're going to connect it to create a ring. We'll take our hook, insert it into the very first chain that we made, we're going to yarn over. We're going to pull through all loops. This creates a ring. I'm going to move this um, end to the back, but it is possible to crochet around it. So I will hold it close to the ring as we crochet around. Round one, we're going to chain three. This makes our first double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet into the ring. We're going to yarn over. We're going to go into the center here. We're going to yarn over and pull that out. We should have three on our hook. Yarn over and pull through two. We should have two left. Yarn over and pull through two. That completes our first double crochet. Next we're going to chain two and then we're going to create a pattern. So we're going to chain two and our pattern will be two double crochet in the ring, that's the first one, that's the second one, and chain two. We're going to repeat that six times.
I have two more to go. One more. I should have a total of eight. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now I'm going to connect it to the top of the chain three, which was our beginning double crochet. So we're going to count down from here. which is one, two, and three. And we're going to just do a slip knot here. So insert our hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. That closes out our round. Okay, so now we're going to move on to round two. For this, we're going to slip stitch all the way over to this space here. So we're going to insert our hook into the top of the next stitch and do a slip stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch into the space. We're going to chain three. And we're going to double crochet, chain two, double crochet in that space. So double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in that space. We're going to continue this all the way around. I'll do the second one for you so that you can see. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. We're going to continue this all the way around until we get back to the beginning. I'll be back once I've completed this round. Okay, so I've now completed um, at the end of round two, I'm going to insert my hook in the top of the chain three that created my beginning double crochet here, and I'm going to do a slip stitch. Okay, I'm next going to slip stitch over to this chain two space right here. And all I did was yarn over and pull through. Now I'm going to chain three and I'm going to put two more double crochet in this chain two space. I'm going to chain three And I'm going to add three more double crochet in this same space. Okay, so now I have a total of three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. I'm going to move over to my next chain 2 space. I'm not going to put anything here, only in the chain 2 spaces. We will add 3 double crochet. Chain 
chain three. Three more double crochet in the same space. Okay, so I'm going to continue in that manner all the way around, only putting three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet in each chain two space all the way around for a total of eight groupings and I will come back when I've completed the round.